In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to crop your video in Premiere Pro. And Premiere Pro has a special tool called Crop, but we're not going to use it in this first example. I'm going to show you an easy way to crop your video. So go ahead and hit Shift 5 to open your effects controls. Now pause the video and go to the upper left corner where you have position and scale. Changing scale and position will create the cropping effect that you're looking for. So yeah, go ahead and click and drag the scale value with your mouse. So here I'm adjusting the scale. And next I'm going to change the position as well. So by using the scale and position controls, you can effectively crop your video out and zoom it in at the same time which is usually the effect you're looking for if you're cropping a video. Now press Shift 7 to open the Effects tab. And start typing Crop. This will open up Video Effects, Transform, Crop. And clicking on these reset buttons next to Position and Scale, we, we can reset the scale and position back to original values. Now go ahead and drag and drop the crop effect directly onto your clip. And now in the Edit Controls in the upper left corner, Locate the crop effect controls. Now, if you click on and drag the left value, you will be able to crop the left hand side of the video. Now, you can also crop the video from the right hand side and from the bottom by using these controls here. Now, the cool thing is if you drag and drop the clipped area, you can actually adjust it within the video itself. So, if I play the video now, it's going to play within the cropped rectangle. Here's the interesting part. If you check the zoom checkbox over here in crop controls, the video will adjust in the viewport, but it will also be stretched, which most likely is something you want to avoid doing when trying to crop a video in Premiere Pro. And this brings us back to the point that we should probably just use the scale and position controls because that will achieve the same cropping effect without distorting the video. Now, there's another way of cropping a video in Premiere Pro, and that's going to the opacity effect controls. You can actually draw a custom area with the pan tool, but for now, we're just going to select the rectangle. So with the rectangle tool selected, I can adjust it by moving the corners around. You can even rotate your cropped area like that by dragging the corner. And if you click and drag the cropped selection, you can move it around the screen. So if I play the video now, we'll see the car moving into the cropped area. With this opacity mask we created, we can go to Mask Feather and adjust the value. And you will blur down the edges of your selection. And now if you play the video, you will have this blurry effect within your cropped area instead of the sharp edges we had before.